Coronavirus restrictions have been an absolute nightmare for many, especially those who have been the victims of domestic abuse. One women's shelter here in Berwick has taken the shutdown time to quietly upgrade. Domestic abuse is real and it's happening today, even before the pandemic and now it's happening. It's been a long time coming for Beyond Violence, who started their journey from Walnut Street to West 11th almost two years ago. We bought the building back in August of 2018. We were blessed with the opportunity to be able to purchase this building. Um, we had outgrown our old location tenfold uh, long before this pandemic ever became um, in the news. Their need outgrew their former space well before 2020, and the move didn't come without hitting a few snags. I thought it would be real quick to build a couple bedrooms and move in. Um, to my surprise, I never really realized all the HVAC issues, uh, sprinkler system issues, um, just hiccups along with the borough codes and zoning. Um, so it took us a little while to get down here. Small groups of volunteers and staff using what would be isolation for improvement. We only had like ourselves to help, so power for the women, you know. <laughs> it took a while for us to get moved and everything, but we, we chipped away at it a little at a time and we got where we are and we're really happy and proud and excited about it that we got to move. The new building gives the nonprofit three more bedrooms to be able to house up to 12 families, and they've even been able to upgrade security. This building is locked 24 7, so we're not relying on somebody to remember to lock a door where we were in a, more of a house set up before. Uh, it's key fob entry. We have a security camera system both inside the building in common areas and um, all three sides of the outside buildings. Domestic abuse has been hard to report and escape during lockdown. Executive Director Jennifer Campbell has been with Beyond Violence since 2004 and has seen the trends. And I don't necessarily think domestic violence is on the rise. I just think the uh, there's with the no more movement, people are taking a stand and not putting up with that kind of treatment. While many are fighting back, others still at the mercy of their situations and time is running out. Right now there's protections out there for renters where landlords can't evict them. Um, so a lot of people are staying with friends. Um, they're doing PFAs to remove their abuser from the home and staying in the home themselves. Once that restriction is lifted and landlords are able to evict, uh, we fear that we are going to get inundated with shelter residents because they're going to have nowhere to go. The move and improvements give hope to those in need of these services. We've been able to maintain services. We've been able to stay open through all of this. Beyond Violence says in helping victims, it's important to get a safe roof overhead and get families back into society on the right foot. We will really work hard on that and we have a really great rate where they get out on their own and we don't see them back in shelter. And for those still in need, there's help. In Berwick, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.